<laughs> so I have a question for you guys. What is like the lowest rate rated girl like in attractiveness that you would go for? Like you would date. I already not know. Not go for date. I already know Jesse's is gonna be high, bro. Oh no. Jesse's like nine point eight. Exactly. No, 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 no. <laughs> you think so, but like that's that's what the misconception is. I'm like, okay, so I'm the type of person where I care I care about looks. Yeah. But I actually care more about underneath the surface than the looks. Yeah. Like you would think that I would only like date like a nine or whatever, but I think I would like like a seven, like six point five seven is good enough as long as they have other stuff that I'm looking for. Right. Like I have I actually have a list. There's a um there's a book out there that I that me and my brother read, and the guy basically says that you should list out everything that you want in a woman. Things like to ten, ten things. Like ten uh, things. Like ten things you want in a woman. And like um Hey, so I did it because like uh, it's, it's based off like a theory. Jay, you can explain the theory. It's like it's called a red car theory, or red card. but it's based on everything. Your brain cannot process everything in the world, <laughs> so it focuses on certain things. And we've all had this. When you got your first car, you're like, no one has this car. Then you get that car. Everyone has that car. Mm. Or when you like, it, oh, I like that red car. You see the car everywhere. And it's the same thing with the stare. You write it down, so you're like saying you're basically buying into these ideas. And so when you look around, look into women or women look into men, that's all they can see are those things. They only point out men or women with those attributes. It's like, um, I feel like you definitely have done that. Yeah. So like, uh, have you ever noticed there's some instance where like people will be like, Did you, how come every top person I see is like this type of person? Or like there's girls like, how come every guy that I see is like a toxic guy or like he's like this or like that, right? It's because you're only aware of those guys. Mm. Right. you're so focused on those guys those are the only guys you're aware of you don't see all the other good guys mm -hmm. right and so the things saying that if you list out the like the, the attributes that you want and you become aware of like the type of person that you want you'll start to see that person more mm -hmm. have both of you guys done this yes yeah yeah so i have my since then since then have you guys ran across more girls that meet your list you said the lowest you would go was a seven so it looks. That's what Jamie said. How? What is the lowest you would date when it comes to a physical attraction? Yeah. What's the lowest? Your wife, your future wife. What's the lowest that she's gonna be, physically? Maybe like six point five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Six, that's yeah. solid. I say seven. I say seven. yeah. I say six point. Maybe like just above average. Yeah. If I wasn't dating you, it would probably be just around like seven. This is something I thought about. Like you, you I don't think I'd want to date someone who's like a knockout ten. Well, I'm not going to generalize, but if someone's like a knockout 10, 10, you, you have to do a lot because she knows she's a 10. Mm -hmm. So you have to do a lot to upkeep it. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. might consume your life to make sure she's like catered to. And I'm like, I, I, want, I want to do other things. I want to hang with my friends, travel, stuff like that. So for sure, you don't want to make everything revolve around your girl. So. Right.